Welcome everyone to the Hippo Cup round of 16. This is the fourth iteration of the tournament and the first pool with a map over seven stars in it already in the round of 16. These teams, both in the winner's bracket, are preparing to duke it out on uh, what is probably one of the hardest round of 16 pools that has ever been uh, put into a tournament. My name is Dio and I'm going to be casting this matchup between Colon 3 and 8 Angry Men. We did see eight angry men win the role. This is their warm up and the first warm up that is being played. For winning the role, they earn the first warm up along with first ban and second pick in the matchup. Roll loser getting the second warm up and second ban and first pick. Over on Colon's three side, we have Spines Knight, Dazzlewind, Hibiki, Willy, Sky Blue, Ethan TC, Chiroyu, and Tira. Over on eight angry men, we have Chili Repair, Takedo, Woey, Chess Bananas, Firstus, Toki, Leftovers, and Spez. I don't know that Firstus will actually be playing this match because he is in Germany. And it is uh, about six in the morning over in Germany right now. Likely not going to be uh, enjoying this one too much. All right, looks like actually Colon 3 passed their warm-up and they actually won the roll. So Colon 3 with the first ban of Hidden 2 coming out. Hidden 2, by the way, is the low approach rate map. Uh, it is also AR7, CS6 in Hidden. I think definitely uh, a very good team against, or a very good ban, excuse me, against eight angry men who have some uh, very, very well-regarded low approach rate players on their team, some very well-regarded gimmick players on their team in general. Uh, Woey, well, we obviously the most well-known one, but Leftovers and Spez are also very, very strong hidden players. Takedo as well, uh, somebody who's kind of fallen out of open rank tournaments a lot recently, but in this rank, rank range is probably one of the best hidden players that there is. The uh, gimmick and reading roster for 8 Angry Men certainly very, very strong. Maybe the Hard Rock 2 first ban for 8 Angry Men. That map is Haryu by Azu. It's Down's expert difficulty of that set. The 218 BPM uh, sort of control map. There's not uh, a really great way to describe it. Uh, not even the highest star rating map in the Hard Rock pool. Definitely not an aim map. More burst focused and one third focused. Um, I guess sort of the ack map in hard rock which is weird to say when there's also a 140 bpm tech map in eden in the hard rock pool but that's definitely how it feels a lot of times hidden three gonna be the second ban for colon three that is the other very difficult map to read in hidden with hidden one being a fairly simple in comparison awkward aim map with some really tough linear jumps that of the one map that's left up the 42 second hidden three champion shirona is a flow aim and cut stream map mapped by ice cult uh, that is really really tricky with hidden to not just accidentally move off of a stream too early nomad four gonna be the last ban for eight angry men that is flux by factal it's all sliders. There's just actually nothing else in the editor. You look open the map and it's just all sliders all throughout the editor.
Aiden and Dreamman are going to have first pick as well. If I were them, I would probably pick one of the low approach rate maps or other gimmick maps or hidden one. One of those picks. Because clearly Colon 3 do not want you to be playing that. Um, for the side of 8 Angry Men, however, they're, they've been two sort of very different maps out from Colon 3's side. And it's a little bit less clear as to exactly what kind of maps they are uh, afraid of Colon 3 picking here. So I think the pick strategy is a little bit difficult for Colon 3 just because the bands don't really give as much away uh, from 8 Angry Men. Their first pick, by the way, is going to be Free Mod 2. That is the CS6, AR6, OD6, HP6 map in Free Mod. This is a 4.77 star map, the lowest star rating in the pool, and probably one of the hardest maps because it's just really ridiculous to try to do well on this, either with Hard Rock or with Hidden. Leftover Chess Bananas Wowie going in right now for 8 Angry Men. I'm expecting Takedo to come in at some point here. Chiroyu, Spines Knight, Hibiki, and Willy0214. I'm gonna try to take the break point off of the first pick from eight angry men here. I think both with the hard rock ban and with the fact that uh Fallen 3 was double banning hidden. We probably see a double hard rock from them on this, but even then, hard rock on this map is only AR 8.4. Uh, the fact that this is AR 6 just means that you are going to be playing a low approach rate map, regardless of whether you play it with hidden or hard rock. Um, and it's just going to be tough for any of the players who are not accustomed to low AR to play this. All right, double hard rock commenced for colon three. We'll see how much that helps out Spines Knight and Willy. We do see Woey and Leftovers not joining the map. Thank you, tournament client. First bug on the first map of the match for this weekend. Did you see double hard rock as well from Eight Angry Men? Hard rock for Woey and Leftovers on this. You see an early break for Willy over on the side of Colon 3. Everybody else so far holding on to it. All these patterns are going to be relatively simple. This is only a four star map with no mods. Uh, it's the sort of trickier aim on hard rock that's going to be most difficult for the hard rock players for sure. And not just, you know, basically shit missing for any of the no mod players because it is AR6. Chess Bananas does find one of those. So combo lead back over to colon three and a reminder this is score v1 so that combo lead does a lot more than it would on score v2 but uh, willy finds another break on the hard rock combo lead back over to eight angry men just barely and spines knight also finding a miss now that's both of the hard rock full combos gone for colon three they do still have both of their nomad players but it's three fcs to two and the score lead pretty rapidly going in the favor of 8 Angry Man. There's still a lot of map left, though. We are only a quarter of the way into this, unfortunately, for uh, any of the players not enjoying themselves right now. Willy finding a slider break on that as well. Really rough on the accuracy for Chiroyu, just sort of combo gaming his way through the map with 90% accuracy right now. And unfortunately for Colon 3, 8 Angry Men are just too good on these low AR maps. You still have the double S from Woey, until I said something about it, of course, but. Still three full combos from Takeda, Woey, and Leftovers over on the side of 8 Angry Men. And Chess Bananas did have very, very high combo as the fourth player until just now. Spines Dice recovered quite well, uh, but you're missing an extra full combo for Colon 3. So 8 Angry Men are just sort of running away with this. Already 2 million score in the lead.
Yeah, at this point, even with the breaks from eight angry men, Hibiki now also dropped the combo. Spines Knight is actually holding on though with Hard Rock, has actually been able to bring this back and the breaks from eight angry men, all of the combos sort of dropping at just about the same time. Woe Leftovers and Takedo all dropping really close together and now Spines Knight is just solo carrying this for them. It's not a huge score lead on Square one but there's not much combo on eight angry men if they were to try to take this back and Spines Knight is just going to pull off the carry performance here. Chiruyu and Hibiki did drop their full combos quite a ways back. It is 78% accuracy from Chiroyu as well, and 94% on the Hard Rock for Spines Knight, the highest accuracy on their team, but was able to combo game his way through the end of the map. And with those high max combos on colon 3, 518 for Chiroyu, 553 for Spines Knight, and 576 for Hibiki. All of those are higher than two out of the three highest max combos for eight angry men. A really, really good performance from them, and a sort of unfortunate timing on the misses for eight angry men just a little bit later, you know, 50 combo on each of those scores, and it actually would have gone over to eight angry men, but unfortunately for them, they, uh... <laughs> They dropped it off just a bit too early, and Colon 3 was able to take advantage. We did see in Colon 3's matchup versus GG Dogs, where they actually won as. Uh, mid seed versus high high seed, or rather high seed versus top seed. Uh, they were able to win a lot of the time on double time and hard rock picks, which you would usually expect uh, the Russian team to do very very well on in GG Dogs. So I think a lot of the response should be to go with hard rock and or double time. But they're gonna go with Nomad Three. This is the alt map in Nomad. Inai Inai Isonsho, 294 BPM, 3 minutes and 38 seconds long as well. Another fairly long map. We start up with a 4 minute AR6 CS6 map and go into a 4 minute alt map here. This is a really, really control focused alt map though. Not your sort of standard or quote unquote standard as of recent flow aim alt map. Much more aim control, much more finger control, especially at a pattern about two thirds of the way through. Uh, which, depending on who breaks or holds combo, could end up with a similar sort of map result as what we just saw, where one team has a single combo hold through the hardest section of the map and carries them through to the end. Definitely a map that a lot of these players should be familiar with. This was, I believe, in uh, Nick's Winter Cup recently as the Nomad 3 pick in uh, one of the recent rounds. Chilly Repair will definitely be familiar with the map because of that. He was in that tournament during the round where the map was still in. Um, and I believe he's the only player out of these who's actually in the tournament at that point, so fairly fresh for everybody else. Spines Knight, Tira, Hibiki, and Dazzlewind going to go in for the first pick for Colon 3. Takedo, Ches Bananas, Leftovers, and Chillier Pair going to try to steal away the breakpoint that they just lost on their own first pick here on Nomad 3. Once again, good overall accuracy from 8 Angry Men out of the gate. We do see an early break from Takedo, though, and combo much more impactful here on Score V1 than it usually is on Score V2 in tournaments. Uh, score lead right over to full and 3, and then right back to 8 Angry Men as both Spines Knight and DBG break in short order. So we have three full combos to two going strong right now for 8 Angry Men, along with a higher supporting combo on Takedo than either Spines Knight or DBG. Player pair, however, dropping a miss on the low aim pattern. Sierra dropping on the back and forth will reset the combo and keep it in favor of 8 Angry Men overall right now. So it is Leftovers and Ches Banana with the two full combos for 8 Angry Men. Takedo holding on a good supporting combo to about match Spines Knight. 
And Hibiki is doing his best, but unable to match the actual full combo from either Leftovers or Tech Bananas. Beta Pair breaks alongside Sira and Hibiki. So, combo trade in the favor of Aiden Command. Tech Bananas does drop one of the full combos left up for that team. So, it is just Leftovers versus Dazzlewind right now on the full combos for both teams. Takedo still holding on to a very strong combo, as is Spines Knight. Okay, any break from either of those four players, or any of those four players, rather, will swap the lead right back over very quickly. There's not a lot of combo on Shira Hibiki, Ted Bananas, or Chill Your Pair at the moment to change that statement. But if they are able to build it up, it can serve as a bit of insurance for one of these players with a higher combo right now. And Spines Knight drops that high supporting combo that he was holding to match Takedo, so that is far more combo now in the favor of 8 Angry Men. The 800 combo from Takedo not going to be matched by any of the members of Colon 3. And just that raw combo being so large matters so much more on Score V1. It's not measured as a fraction of the map like it is on Score V2, so 900, 1000 combo now for both Takedo and Leftovers. Leftovers actually breaking as I say that, but Dazzlewind also breaks over on Colon 3. It is Chill Your Pair and Takedo versus Tira and Hibiki. Takedo about 400 combo up on either of those high combos for Colon 3, and Chill Your Pair matching either of them at the moment. Mine's Knight finding a break, but doesn't matter too much. Chill Your Pair breaking does matter quite a bit now. Tira and Hibiki holding on to a very strong combo, a 1500 combined from them, but only about 1200 combo from Takedo right now, so the score lead should actually start to swap over to Colon 3. But Takedo is going to make sure that it does so very, very slowly, if at all. That combo is huge on his score for 8 Angry Men. Already 10 million score in the lead for them. Leftovers breaking isn't going to help it. Tira and Himiki are going to try to bring this back, but Himiki breaks. And that, with Dazzlewind breaking as well, probably seals it up for 8 Angry Men. Three of the combos holding strong for them on Takedo, Chess Bananas, and Fill Your Pair. Namely, Takedo's super high combo right now, approaching 1500 combo by himself on this map. Absolutely great score from Takedo, holding on to the combo where it matters most throughout basically the entire map here on Nomad 3. Really, really good stuff from him, and that is two breakpoints traded back and forth at the very beginning of the match. Now waiting on the next pick from 8 Angry Men. They did actually go with the reading pick, and despite the loss on it, they looked much more comfortable on the pick overall than Colin 3 during 3 Mod 2, so I expect them to go with another reading pick, uh, even despite losing the 3 Mod pick that they went with at the start of the match. Not a lot of reading picks left overall. It's gonna actually be DT1 instead. They don't go with Hidden 1. They don't go with Nomad 6 either uh, with the 30 second RNG pick. Uh, they're gonna go with Double Time 1. This is 281 BPM. Um, and that is not actually a mistake. Has quite a lot of bursts pretty much throughout the map that are all mapped at that 281 BPM in Double Time. So really, really tough speed pick. Mostly aim overall, obviously. It's not just going to be 280 BPM streams throughout the map, but there are going to be enough of those patterns to mean that many players are going to be speed gated if they're not able to keep up with at least a few bursts at that BPM.
All right, it looks like we have both of the rosters for both teams. 80 Greenman net for their second pick. DT1 fielding Spev, Tokyo Leftovers, and Chillier Pair. Full and three, going to try to repeat the break point once again with Dazzlewind, Tira, Hibiki, and Willy0214. Build.com funds are coming out. We should be into double time one. Did talk about a little bit earlier, Colton 3 winning their match against GG Dogs by going for a lot of hard rock and double time picks and winning off of those maps, which you would usually expect the Russian team to be very, very good, specifically at double time speed. But Hibiki finds an early break, Tira finds an early break, and it looks like eight Angry Men have a very, very strong speed roster out of the gate for this AR 10.3 280 BPM double time map. Spev, Toki, Leftovers, and Chillier Pair, uh, all fairly good speed players in this rank range in particular. Uh, many of those names going in on speed maps in the four-digit World Cup for the United States. Leftovers does find a break in the downtime after the first key eye. I think the three full combos from the rest of the team are going to be enough to keep the score on their side, despite the already... A little bit high built up combos from Tira and Hibiki. Breaks from both Chillier Pair and Hibiki. Tira also following up, so combo trade in the favor of eight angry men. And the finger control there, really what's catching off Tira and Hibiki. Willy and Dazzlewind continuing the full combo though. Definitely not out of the woods yet for eight angry men. They only have Toki and Spev holding high combos right now with the breaks from both leftovers and Chillier Pair. And those are. The score lead is fleeting if either of those full combos drops for either team. Tira does find another miss, but it's not going to be as important as tracking the full combos right now. Dazzle Wind and Willy both break the four-way reset for Colon 3. Actually, a seven-way reset on that stream as Toki Leftovers and Chillier Pair also break on the exact same pattern. It is just Spev holding on for eight Angry Men and bringing it home for them now up six million, seven million score and climbing with the full combo for Spev over three quarters of the way into the map and into the double section at the end of the map, still not showing any signs of trouble whatsoever. 98.5% accuracy as well, uh, compared to the next highest accuracy from Toki of right around 98 and dropping the full combo on that longer stream. So really, really good from Spev. He does slide to break the very end of the map. Uh, but basically generated the 14 million score lead, uh, mostly by himself. It was Toki and Spev clearly with the highest scores in the lobby, but Spev up 8 million score on the next highest score in the lobby, so really well done from him. That is the second point for 8 Angry Men on their second pick, stopping the break points early. Maybe Nomad 2, the next pick for Cole and 3. I was going to say maybe go for Hard Rock after a pick like that when you have won it against other people. But they're going to go for the stream map in Nomad. This is the 220 BPM Ring of Fire by Dragon Force. Of course, the Johnny Cash classic. Uh, not high enough BPM to be a stream map, but this Dragon Force remix does the job. A little bit fast, actually, for a Nomad 2 pick than what you would usually see in uh, a round of 16. Even on a 7-star pool, 220 BPM uh, is usually a bit faster than normal. So definitely a, a fairly high BPM stream map pick in Nomad right now. We are going to see Dazzlewind, Tira, Hibikit, and Spines Knight go in for this one. It looks like the exact same roster for 8 Angry Men as well now. Uh, they should be just keeping the same four players in from last time. Uh, we did see a swap out of Willy for Spines Knight over on Colon 3, but that is the only roster change. Everybody else staying in for them.
We do see early breaks coming out of both Kiviki and Tira and Spev. Julia Pair and Leftovers also finding some early breaks over on 8 Angry Men. It's just Jen Bananas with the full combo left up for 8 Angry Men. Dazzle Wind and Spines Knight holding on to FC's for colon 3 right now. Chet Banana is actually going in for Toki on Aiden Green Man as well for this map. The last minute swap happened there. Breaks for Chet Bananas and Leftovers once again on Aiden Green Man. Spines Knight and Hibiki also breaking for Colon 3, but the combos are much higher for Colon 3 right now. 540, 500 for Dazzlewind and Tira, 400 and 400 for Chillier Pair and Spev. So a pretty good combo lead and a pretty good score lead being built up by Colin 3 as we keep going through Ring of Fire here. If you keep finding a slider break is going to help Aiden and your men, but leftover chain missing is not. Player Pair is still holding on to good combo, Spev still holding on to good combo, and Tira finding a break does give them a way back into this map for eight angry men colon three hoping to keep their advantage on their second pick here though and it's really now all on dazzle wind this finds knight also finds a break here in the solo section leftovers drops the combo as does chill your pair on the back and forth jump spev the only one holding for eight angry men tira and spines knight break as well for colon three Chesmanana is also holding 600 combo, and Dazzlewind is doing all that they can to hold this on for Colon 3. Hibiki is helping a bit with that 400 combo, matching some of the extra combo from Chesmanana's. Dira Spines Knight are having a lot of trouble, though, and that's really just bringing it so much more easily over to the side of 8 Angry Men. It's just barely on their side right now, though, and Hibiki and Dazzlewind have a much better combined combo than Spev and Leftovers, especially now with that break from Spev. Hibiki matches the break, but it's not going to matter. Dazzlewind is on 1,300 combo. Does finally find a miss. Now, combo lead is on Leftovers, actually, on 8 Angry Men. That is 500 combo, and it's not something that you can ignore when we are on score v1. This lead is less than 2 million points, and that is enough for Leftovers to probably take this back if he can combo through to the end of the map, but it's going to be close. Breaks are going to matter from anyone here. There's the swap. Hibiki and Chillier Pair both break. It's going to stay on the side of 8 Angry Men. Everyone breaks at the end. It just barely holds on for 8 Angry Men at the end there. 81 million to 80 million for 8 Angry Men at the end of the map. Very, very close. Dazzlewind, unfortunately, just breaking maybe 10 notes too early. An extra million score, an extra 700,000 and 20, or 720,000 score is all that he needed to win that point. But it's not meant to be that extra 10, 20 combo is not going to happen with that kind of combo. And eight angry men now going to be able to have the breakpoint advantage, have a little more security in their next pick as they are up three to one. It is two wins on speed for eight angry men. Not sure if you call 220 BPM speed. It's a little bit fast for a stream map. Definitely call 280 BPM speed. And a win on the first pick for colon three as well on Nomad three, the alt map. So sort of a lot of options for eight angry men right now. If they're looking to extend the lead using something that they've already played once something like double time two is most similar to the speed maps that have already been played definitely wouldn't go with uh something like dt3 or dt4 those are not at all similar it is going to be dt2 the 263 bpm uh nakagawa cannon map dkss lqj for those who don't know is the old name for nakagawa cannon before they renamed to that
This is the burst double time map. Fairly fast, 263 BPM. Uh, it's only a minute long also, so still very, very short. Definitely not the shortest map in the pool, however. There's also an AR-8 double time map, so much more object dense than what we saw in double time one, despite being slightly lower BPM. Good luck, have funds are out. We're going to see Dazzlewind, Tira, Hibiki, and Spines Knight once again in 4, colon, 3. Spev, Takedo, Toki, and Chili Repair in 4, 8, Angry Man. A couple roster swaps going on there. Early, early miss from Chili Repair going to give uh, 50 combo or so over to colon 3, given right back by Tira. We're already halfway through this pick, by the way. Breaking on the first burst of the map. Chili Pair Chain missing the stream. Dazzlewind also finding a miss on that pattern. Koki and Spev also missing right afterwards, though. Takedo now the only full combo left up for Aiden Remand as Hibiki and Spines Knight are holding on to two FCs for colon three here at the end of the map. Tira with near 400 combo as well. Spev failing out at the end of the map. And that is uh, a pick gone wrong for Aiden Angry Man as colon three are able to handle the longer bursts without much triple spam in between. Uh, unlike what we saw on DT1, where they were mostly faltering on the finger control based patterns, there weren't any of those to trip them up here on DT2. And the one-time strain of these bursts was a bit too much for eight angry men, but enough for colon three to handle. They pick up the point there. And with that, we've seen uh, Colon 3 went on reading, Colon 3 went on speed, 8 Angry Men went on control, and 8 Angry Men went on speed. In, in general, the speed maps that they have went on for 8 Angry Men have been uh, more control focused. Uh, Nomad 2 is obviously sort of a coin flip map if Dazzlewind combos for 10 or 20 combo more with that near 1500 times. Uh, that probably goes over. And. DT1, of course, with the doubles, much, much more finger control focused than what we saw in Double Time 2. So I think a map like this in Nomad 5. A little bit interesting. Um, I'm not sure how much of this really is finger control. I'm generally familiar with this map, but haven't actually looked at it in the editor today. So not remembering how much of this is control based versus how much is just burst based. Now, this is 256 BPM, about two minutes long. So not as RNG as we saw in Double Time 2.
It looks like we are seeing the same lineup once again for Colon 3, by the way. It's Binds Knight, Tyria, Hibiki, and Dazzle when they've been on, on all the speed maps for Colon 3, but we see Woey, Takedo, Toki, and Chili Repair in for 8 Angry Men. That tells me that they think this map uh, is going to be a little bit more control-based. Especially if they're fielding a Woey and Takedo, they generally do a lot better on the control-focused maps. Chili Repair also does, I know, very well on maps with lots of bursts in short order, which is what we saw at trip up colon three on a map like Double Time 1, in addition to the doubles near the end of the map. You see an early, early miss from Spine Snake and Kibiki over on colon three. Everybody else holding on to full combos for now. Square jumps break the combo for Woey and Toki over on 8 Angry Men, so combo lead and score lead, of course, traded right back over to colon 3 now. One third slider square jumps break the combo for Dazzle when Toki breaks on the finger control patterns right afterward and the linear jumps after that. These repeated combo breaks really sort of capping Toki's score compared to everyone else, down about 400k or so compared to the next highest score. Chili Repair and Takedo still holding on to the FCs for 8 Angry Men right now, but only so much they can do when, uh, yeah, there's only one full combo for Tira over on Colon 3, but Spines Knight and Hibiki have some pretty big supporting combos and are still edging out this win right now for colon three building up a steady score lead but it is only at one million score that is not a very big lead at all in score v1 especially with four players trying to grab combo wherever they can No breaks in the bursty section yet from anybody. What would the first break on a miss aim, actually? Everybody comboing the square jumps here. And that is going to be the end of the map, basically. Don't think anyone's going to break on those repeat sliders. That is colon three, tying it up. Two break points to two, one regular pick to one. We are three to three now for eight angry men and colon three. And it's just sort of misses early on on some of the aim focus sections for really Woey and Toki on that map that dropped the scores down for eight angry men uh, too far to recover from the full combos for Takedo and Chili Repair. Very good scores coming out of them, by the way. Both of them outscoring any member on colon three. Chili Repair with 99.58% accuracy on the full combo as well. Sort of ridiculous score from him. Uh, but the full combo from Tira and then the supporting scores from Spines Knight and Hibiki were high enough to outdo the double full combo. Uh, and that's all that Colon 3 really needed. They don't need a double full combo as long as they've got, you know, a solid supporting score roster for, in this case, Tira with the FC. Yeah, really unfortunate for Chili Repair, setting the uh, number 11 score on the map. Top Nomad play on the map with the uh, highest act of anyone on the leaderboard in tournament and still not being able to win the pick. Rather unfortunate for him. Mod 3 going to be the next pick for 8 Angry Men. That is Hot Iron Wheel by Look Vibrant. Uh, this is a map that I do not know. So we're going to be going into this one together. Why is it not loading in? I downloaded the map pack. Well, let me go re-download it. Thank you, map pack, for functioning properly. Of course. I 
Ah, last updated 38 hours ago. That's why the map pack didn't work. Anybody else like pending maps in tournament? All of my eight player windows are almost loaded in now. And we are back to the tournament client once again. Hidden for Hibiki, Hard Rock for Willy, Hidden for Takito, Wowie, and Chez Bananas. No mod for Spines Knight, Tira, and Chillier pair of the rosters for both teams already well into the map. About a quarter of the way through. This is just an awkward aim map, it looks like. A little, little bit of awkward slider shapes also built into this one. Early breaks from Tira and Willy. Only early breaks from Takedo on eight Angry Men. So combo lead on their side with two full combos on uh, colon three and three full combos for eight Angry Men. Break for Spines Knight as well on the Nomad now. So Hibiki, the only FC left up for colon three. And eight angry men seem to have found a pick that suits their needs at the moment. But as I say that, of course, Woey and Chilean Pair break. Chilean Pair dropping the double S with this first miss as well. Takito and Chez Bananas matching the combos from Tira and Hibiki. And Tira dropping the combo as well. So now Takito just free score building up for eight angry men at the moment. Breaks from Spines Knight, Willy, Woey, and Chilean Pair all on either the stream after the or either on the space stream or on the awkward aim wide angle jumps right afterwards going into this long slider now Bowie? Hideki also missing by the way so no full combos left for colon three Chez Bananas and Takedo still holding very big combos for 8 Angry Men as well. We're going to panic while they have these giant combos because what could go wrong while we're panicking and not looking, right? Surely they don't miss while we're not actually loaded into the map, right? Surely they hold on to their combos. Nope, Chez Bananas broke. Takedo, though, is still holding on to 700 combo, and Woey has built up a good supporting combo for him as well. Higher than anything to be seen on colon 3. So 8 Angry Men definitely going to take this one home. They are more than double the team score for colon 3 at the moment and climbing. And these breaks at the end of the map really don't matter all that much. It's far and away in the favor of eight angry men. Still more than double the score of colon three. Very nice pick from them and a very nice score to cap it off. When you see it.
Four to three in the favor of eight angry men right now. Colon three looking to pick up their fourth win on their fourth pick here. We have seen zero hard rock maps get played so far. I would like to see one of the teams pick one of them. Probably colon three goes for it considering the ban on hard rock two from eight angry men. But we also did see the alt win on Nomad 3 for 8 Angry Men, and frankly, both of the other maps in Hard Rock are uh, alt, or some other form of very difficult control, both in the aim control on the 116 BPM Hard Rock 1, especially with the uh, finger control built into that map as well. Lots of variable rhythm patterns, and Eden being a an aim control map with sliders all over the place at 140 BPM. It's not going to be either of those. It's going to be double time three, the pickup for colon three. That is Battle Spirit by Aoki Yoshino. This is a 50 second map. It's also 218 BPM. They're praying to RNGs Jesus and erecting their, their shrine, their place of worship, if you will. And just trying to place it all on a roll of the dice here with another double time map that's less than a minute long. RNGs is currently favoring eight angry men. The rolls for colon three taking three people to get higher than uh, Toki's one roll. We'll see if the luck holds out here. All right, both teams are ready to go. We're into double time too. Eight Angry Men hoping for a break point on the RNG pick. Joyer Pair wants a rematch on uh, the free mod map, and Toki wants to play the gimmick map in no mod. Neither of them are going to be able to do it. Please, client, stop malfunctioning on the shortest maps in the pool. Early break for Dazzle Wind. Early break for Leftovers. Early second break for Leftovers as well. Never mind, Dazzle Wind was a Bancho miss. I love Bancho. Tony Paratira and Hibiki all break at once. Leftovers and Willie also break. We have Dazzlewind still holding on to the full combo versus Toki and Takedo still FCing for eight angry men. They are pulling away with the score lead right now with their double full combo. We also have pretty good supporting scores for Chili Repair and Leftovers uh, matching or exceeding the supporting scores from Hibiki and either Willie or Tira. Leftovers does find a break. But I don't think that's going to be enough to swap it over to colon three. And with Dazzlewind finding a miss as well. And Toki and Tejito still holding on to the double FC at the end of the map. Both of them breaking as I say that, of course. Doesn't even matter. They're up by almost four million score. Five to three now for eight angry men. And that is also a break point on the fourth pick for colon three eight angry men now up five to three at match point with the next pick they should be just trying to close this out but there are no more speed maps the pool has been wrung dry of speed at this point the remaining double time pick is 180 bpm the only high bpm maps left are the 221 BPM hidden one, which is actually just a, an awkward aim map, and the 256 BPM Nomad 6, which is a 27 second finger control and flow aim gimmick map. So. Where do they go from here is the question. They did also win on some of the more control-focused picks earlier on in the pool. I'm thinking specifically of Nomad 3, both with the aim control and finger control built into the alt map in Nomad. Uh, they could go with... Uh, honestly, they kind of could go with something like Nomad 6 and uh, see if that pick works out because of the finger control and because of the more difficult-to-read patterns throughout that map. Uh, there was a double ban on Hidden, though, from Colin 3, and that does 
usually bode well for you if you pick the remaining mod map that they didn't ban. Um, so Hidden One, definitely an option here for Eight Angry Men. They did also win on Free Mod 3 by taking multiple Hiddens against a Hidden and a Hard Rock from Colon 3. They're gonna go with Free Mod 1 though. That is Night Fog by Camellia. It's a 150 BPM Camellia map in Free Mod. It's gonna be pretty tough. If there's any map that is probably most similar to Nomad 3, uh, this might be it. Control map, more tech focused, obviously, than something like Nomad 3, where it's a lot of uh, flow aim, back and forth aim control, and finger control built into it. It's a bit more slider focused. Uh, you can already hear where all of the finger control comes from in this map. This is AR 9.3 CS4, definitely difficult enough to read on hidden, even without uh, something like AR 9, which you would usually have for a free mod pick. Good luck, have funds are out. We are into the fifth pick now from Eight Angry Men. What they hope is the last map in this match. And what Colon 3 hopes is the first in a series of three wins. Spines Knight, Tira, Hibiki, and Willy going to try to make that first of three wins happen here on this map. And Chillier Parrot, Shiz Bananas, Woey, and Takedo going to try to stop them from forcing the tiebreaker here. Hidden for Hibiki, Hard Rock for Willy. Hidden for Woey, Takedo, and Chez Bananas, Spines Knight, Tira, and Chill Your Pair taking no mod. Early, early break for Chill Your Pair, slide a break. Maybe he was the first break in this breakdown section. That is on the lead heavily in the favor of Aiden Gaiman. Willie as well finding a break on the hard rock. Both the modded players for Colon 3 having trouble in the TI time of the map. So your pair with a good recovery from the early break on Aiden Angry Man, and none of the other members of that team, either none of their three angriest men breaking here during the first TI of the map for about a third of the way in. Spines Knight and Zero still pulling on a full combos for Colon 3. Definitely not a surefire win for Angry Men, especially with so much of the map left, but it is definitely looking good as Spines Knight finds his first miss, and now it is just Zero holding on for Colon 3. Hibiki and Willy struggling to build up a good score to help with the supporting combo. Willy does combo through those highly spaced one-third jumps on Hard Rock. But again, it is still three full combos for eight Angry Men and Chill Your Pair with a very, very high supporting combo. Only a million score down from a full combo at the moment. 30-40 combo is not a lot at all. There's a break from Spines Knight during the slow section also. Really the part where you should be trying to build up as much combo as possible. And unfortunately, Spines Knight not going to be able to do that here. Tira is still holding on to this full combo once again. But we are two-thirds of the way through the map. And that is almost double score for 8 Angry Men. 65 million score to 35 million right now. 
and of course growing in three, er, excuse me, in eight angry men's favor as they still have that three-way FC with Chill Your Pair not very far behind whatsoever. Were we on 99% with Hidden, by the way? Sort of ridiculous act on the full combo. Finally drops down into the 98s. Was holding over 99 until just a moment ago. And that's looking like it's going to be it. This is uh, a 50 million score lead at over three quarters of the way through the map. Even if Tira full combos the rest of this, it ain't happening. That is eight angry men getting real mad for this last pick and pulling out, uh, this is three hidden full combos and a one slider break, one miss from Chillier Pair on the Nomad. Actually crazy. Chez Bananas finally dropped the miss. It is now only two full combos for eight angry men, but Woey and Takedo are just sort of going off here. And there's not a lot that Colon 3 can do about it. Takedo with the full combo at the very end of it here, down into the slow section at the end of the map. Woey does miss at the very end of the hard part. Tragic, honestly, with that sort of accuracy. It would have been a very, very good score for Woey. Still is, obviously. Uh, but Takedo going to take the highest score award in that map and finish off the match with that score as well. Really, really nicely done from 8 Angry Men. 6-3 at the end of that match. The break point on the final pick from Colon 3 on Battle Spirit. Enough to bring it home to Kido and Toki with the double full combo there. Uh, more than enough to bring it home for them. That is going to be it for this stream. We will be back tomorrow in the early afternoon UTC. We are starting off at 14 UTC with Ostruskill versus No PP. We have a couple of other matches later on in the day after that uh, coming up. But that is going to be when we start because starting earlier than that would mean getting up in the 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday for one of our North American streamers. And that is not happening. So you will wait until 14 UTC. Congratulations once again to 8 Angry Men for their win here against Colon3. Commiserations to them. They will drop down to the loser's bracket. This was winner's bracket. So they are not out of the tournament just yet. And with the performance that they put up against 8 Angry Men today, they are definitely a team to watch out for in the loser's bracket. They have already beaten one of the top-seeded teams in GG Dogs. And I'm sure will be on their way through the loser's bracket without... Uh, Certainly not without a fight. Thank you everyone for watching. Congrats to 8 Angry Men. We'll see you back here again at 14 UTC.